Hi. I don't even know if I've begun this vlog yet or not, but here we are. I'm in my car, or my family's car. I usually don't drive this truck because I hate driving the truck. It's so big and I feel like I'm gonna run over everyone. But I had to run to the post office and I just, I've been talking in my past vlogs about how much I just, I'm harboring a lot of anger for no reason. I mean, there's a reason, but I don't wanna talk about it. It's more anger than needs to be in my body. So that's why I'm not like trying to focus on it, but I am focusing on it by talking about it. I told myself to take a drive by yourself. You'll be fine. Even though I was really nervous about parking, I had to go to the post office and mail Bonnie's Christmas and birthday package. So that's now done. Thank God there were two parking spots that were vacant right next to each other so I could somehow maneuver this car in there because I can't drive this truck to save my life. I forgot how therapeutic driving is. Like, I just want to drive around. I think it's so fun, but I don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> but I'm literally just sitting in the car like not wanting to go back inside. I know I'm just gonna lay in bed. I don't wanna just lay in bed. It is ferociously windy outside today, so even if I wanted to go read outside, I probably wouldn't even be able to hold on to my book. So I'm gonna already veto that before I try it. And that's how my life is. I just took a drive because I needed it. I don't start PetSmart until I think on Sunday, Sunday or Monday, and I'm really not jazzed about that, like I've said in my past vlog. But at the same time, I don't wanna sit at home and not get paid. <laughs> I'm done here, time to go inside. Wind from the gods. Wait. Car's locked. Cause someone out here in the middle of bum nowhere might steal it, you know? The only good thing about my day is that my dad just brought me this. Hopefully it's a present for me and not just like taxes. I don't know. You know Amazon's probably gonna get on that train in like 10 years. <sighs> Who is it from? This is from Brooke from Brooklyn. Lots of ends. Brooklyn reads. Hi Whitney, Merry Christmas. Congratulations on graduation. You did it. Hope this makes you cry less than your vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> made me cry this month. Thank you so much, Brooke, or Brooklyn. I think you said Brooke, I think it's Brooke. Thank you, Brooke. Brooke, I have not had a very fancy couple days. It hasn't been very great, but this right here, music to my ears. So Brooke got me two books, which, thank you, Brooke. The first one she got me is called My Oxford Year by Julia Whalen. This is a romance contemporary book that I've heard such wonderful things about. It's about an American named Ella who wants to go study at Oxford and so she finally goes when she's on scholarship and then she gets there, has a really rude encounter with a British person and then realizes the next day that's her professor, which is an overdone trope, but I'm living for it. Thank you, Brooke, I really wanna read this soon. It sounds really, really cute. And then, this package was three pounds and I can tell you why. I'll give you a wild guess what this book is. Brooke got me Queen of Air and Darkness, which I'm so excited to read, even though it's gonna take me half a year to finish because look at that, look at the thicky. She's so thick. Brooke, I love you. Thank you so much. I wanted this so bad before I started it because I didn't want to start listening to it. Then I didn't have it physically because it's so huge. So now I can finally dive in. Oh, I'm so soaked. Hold on, I want to see if this has the fan art that I saw. It does. Oh my gosh! I haven't seen this before in person. Whoa! Oh my gosh, who did this? Can I commission them to do some Shatter Me fan art? This looks tremendous. Oh my gosh, and church is there. I don't even know who any of these people are. Here, here's what I know. Emma, Julian, someone named Tiberius maybe, uh, someone named Kieran maybe. I clearly have a lot of information left over from Lord of Shadows, but once again, Brooke, you are the light of my life. Thank you so much for the kindness because I'm gonna cherish these books forever. I'm very grateful to you. Also, my dad picked me up some LA burger, which if you're from LA or North Texas and you haven't had LA burger, literally, my favorite restaurant of all time. I ate an entire bag of chips earlier because I was sad about my life and I'm really full, but I'm gonna eat these tacos too because when life gives you LA burger tacos, you eat them. That's everything. So you mean to tell me that this Harry Potter box sets of the Gryffindor house, the Hufflepuff house, 
and Slytherin house, but no Ravenclaw. It's fine. Look who came to say hi. Come here. Jack, I need your love right now in my life. Jack! Even dogs don't like me. I'm in a bad mood and I need some horse snuggles. So I'm gonna go groom my pony and you can come along with me and we can pretend like this is an episode of Santa Club and we're grooming horses together. Oh my gosh, it is redonkulously windy. Is he home at that one here? Mama! Hi, Momo. How's those kittens? They coming along good? Hi, big girl. Hi, here's Bo. Hi, big boy. Oh, coming along. Let's go get my horse. Ollie! Miss Momo has come to help. Are you gonna come help? <laughs> Hi. You helping? Thank you. All right, come on, pony. Let's go get brushed. My mouth is still helping. You gonna try and chew yourself out? Yep. Yeah. But <laughs> stop. You're not gonna chew yourself out. Stop. You are so grumpy. What are you doing? Stop giving each other dirty looks. Hey. Hey. Stop giving dirty looks. Ollie, you're not getting in that stall. Mama, these boys are crazy. Ollie, stop trying to open that door. Hey, stop licking the door. What are you doing? Come here. You're tied up right here. Why are you over there? Come here. Nasty boy. What are you doing? Ollie. <laughs> That's me. You are so weird. What are you doing? Sir, you're so strange. He's so strange, homo. Kind of wet and gross. Tried to groom you. You've got so much mud. You have to get a bath to get that off. You ready? You ready? Let's go. <laughs> He's coming. Look how handsome. Up oh, and we're running. Okay. Same. Boy, baby. Never mind. You go read? You know what? I think I'm gonna hang out in this tack room and read with horse over here, my mouth down here, muddy foot right here. Hi, honey. Oh, bedtime. <laughs> she tucked herself in. <laughs> hey, Bo. So I didn't really put a transition here, but here's what happened. So I was sitting on the ground next to the cat in her little bed because I just wanted to read a little bit before I had to go back inside. And as I was sitting there, the cat kept jumping in and out of her little bed. And at one point she jumped out and stood next to me. And then when she walked away, there was like a puddle left behind. <laughs> and I was like, hmm, I don't think you just threw up because I would have heard you throw up, but like, 
why is there water on the ground? So I literally went on my phone that had like 10% left and I googled, do cats waters break? <laughs> You know, I didn't really get an answer to that, but she wanted to go back into her bed. So I ended up just scooting closer and watching her being like, I don't know if you're about to have your kittens or if this is just weird. So I sat there with her for like 20 minutes trying to figure out, are you just pulling my leg or are things going to start happening? And then she ended up looking like she was, you know, on her way. My phone had died. I got up and got my family and then Mamo had her baby. So here's footage of that. I am gonna include like some clips, so I'll give y'all warnings before particularly gruesome ones, but just so you know, there's gonna be blood. If you wanna skip to the very end where there's not gonna be anything gross, then I'll put a timestamp of where you should skip to. Enjoy the babies! Good mama. We're all here for the viewing party. <laughs> you doing good, sweetie? <laughs> good girl. Baby number one. No pressure, but we're all videoing you. <laughs> Here's baby. Oh my honey, you're so little. It's your baby. Good girl. <laughs> Do we have a number five? No. Yeah, it's another black one. Another black one? Yeah. Oh. There it is. There it is. And Yay. she's moving, so she's healthy. Yeah. Do you want to go meet the cuties too? Hi. One last nightly checkup before bed. They're so cute, babies. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Did she get some chicken? 
see if she wants any food. Oh. Are you getting sore? Yes, sweetheart. Are you getting sore? You want to? Sure, honey. Sure. Is that all fine? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, this one looks like Momo. I told you, Tabby. She looks like a mirror.